off there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to the match, but uh, uh, I'm here to question your framing. So if uh, two hooligans uh, were fighting each other, Chelsea versus Liverpool, we should ban all uh, all, all the football uh, football fans from going to the football game? I've never Why said did... it. Sorry, I've no, never... no, 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 no. But no. You... I've never said at any stage that the march should be banned. Anecdotal evidence, Tom. You're no. bringing someone who's saying, "Allow me to speak." You were speaking yeah, for yeah. a good fifteen minutes. Allow me to speak. Yeah, I know, You're well, bringing a woman, one woman, one woman in a march of over two hundred thousand yeah. human beings. Are you taking yeah. a piss? No. Sorry for my language. No, I, I, you I, have I, to you have to watch your language, Moses, because you are live on the radio. Um, at no stage have I ever said the march should be banned. So your your analogy of two football supporters fighting one another, whether I think all football no, actually should be banned, no, is complete you're nonsense. Saying, you're saying you're worried about a certain elements. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you're right. Well, how can, damn right. Well, you can't control human beings. So you try to tell me if 200,000 people came out and there's 60 arrests, we have to blame the other that was left of the 200,000 people. No, that I'm not saying that sense. at all either. I'm not saying, so, that, I'm not saying no. that you're not blamed for how someone else thinks and feels. I yes. hold them responsible for how they think and feel. I'm, I'm baffled as to how it is that yes. a young woman can come to the conclusion that what happened on the 7th of October is, is a source of hope. And I it, suspect it, you it, would it, be it, too. It, it, I know it's the same warped mentality that called Palestinians human animals. It's the same warped mentality that killed 136 Palestinians in the West Bank where there is no Hamas, Tom. It's Mm -hmm. that same warped mentality, isn't it? Fascist, racist, ideologically driven mentality that caused the death of human beings, including 4,000 children, Tom. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? So why is it when one side, you bring one woman from one side and you have representative of the Israeli government calling for the genocidal removal of the Palestinian people? And I've talked about that people. as well, and it is appalling. Of course, of course, it's of course. absolutely outrageous. Yeah, that but it's outra- outrageous is just words. You bring in one person who doesn't represent a march, and I'm bringing in the representative of an Israeli state. Like, how are you doing the comparison? Why are you not holding the state responsible for its action rather than holding a fringe person responsible for the whole p- people marching? How does that work? Well, but it's because it's Palestinian, isn't it? No, it's because yeah, one not, person on, is there supporting... At least, a pres- at least, at least be, uh, betray some sort of honesty. If it's okay, not I'll be honest with you, Moses. I'm, yeah. I'm calling that out because it, yeah. because it is, as I see it, the supporting of a prescribed terrorist organisation in this country. I'm yeah. call, I also call out, talk yeah. about and, and dismiss and think it is unbelievably alarming the calls yeah. from a minister in the Israeli government saying that the atomic bomb should be dropped on Palestine. Both yeah, are unbelievable extremes. Yeah, but you equa- you're making a false equivalency. That's one person who doesn't have power and that's another person that represents a state under international law, a sovereign state that has to have a certain standard to behave under international law. Yeah. So you can't compare, you can't compare Tom... Uh, but there's a different, uh, Moses, between the language that's used by a junior minister in the Israeli state, which is alarming and yeah. awful and needs to be called out, and that's why Netanyahu yeah. needs to be removed after this because he's brought together a coalition of the worst types uh, in Israeli politics uh, to allow him to govern. But that's not the aim of Israel. The aim of the Israeli state is not to drop an atomic bomb onto Palestine. Tom, I've I've got a perfect solution for the people that want to stop the march. Just make Richie Sunak and uh, Joe Biden ask for a ceasefire. All, All these marches will stop. All these marches will stop. Yeah, well, they can What's ask excuses? for it, but they're not going to be able to get it, are they? Joe oh, Biden was okay. outside the White so, House saying so the ceasefire is impossible. Our political representatives, our political representatives are watching a genocide happen in real time, and you don't expect us to come and to come out and just. Uh, 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 well, oh, well, we have to. We have to worry about the Senate. First of all, it's remember it's Sunday. It's not remember it's weekend. No, I understand. Let's, uh, yeah. let, let's just yeah. put the terminology right. We're not going anywhere near the Senator. Let's no, put the terminology right. So what's the problem? We're citizens of this country. And we're protesting. We, I don't have to ask you to protest. It's my right. My inheritance right. To protest. Of course it is, what? Moses, and I'm, you, I'm not. Well, sit- I'm not part of Hamas. I'm like, not come on, leave here. it out. I'm not sitting here trying to remove your right to protest, particularly this one. And I agree that the description of it, as uh, Rishi Sunak was trying to give it, that it is, uh, you know, somehow disrespectful. I, I disagree with him. I don't think it's disrespectful. In what way would it be disrespectful? What is disrespectful is well, it's illegal, calling for uh, support for Hamas. Do I think that means you support Hamas because you go on that march? Absolutely not. 